Hi YouTube, I'm Maimun. Welcome back to my, one of my auto repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show how to remove and replace the switches on the steering wheel of a 2003-2007 Honda Accord. Now, usually there are two switches uh, on some models like the LX, but on here we only have one, which is the cruise control. Now, the job is fairly simple, actually self-explanatory, but if you're just coming here looking for ideas, we're taking apart this uh, car anyway, so you know, you might as well do a video on it. So, first off, you're going to want to turn the wheel so that it's easier to access. If you look from the back, there are two switch, there, there are two screws and they're indicated by these two holes. So you're just want, gonna wanna take a Phillips uh, head screwdriver. You wanna turn the wheel so that it's easier to access them. Make sure that the screwdriver catches on and then unscrew it. All right. Oh, it looks like we have to oh, okay so now we've unscrewed it so I, I might need to unscrew it a bit more on this side but it looks like it's already coming out i don't know why it's not coming out on here so once you take out both of the screws and try to take it out you'll notice that it's actually not coming off now that's because if you just finagle it a bit upwards you can see that there's a wire with a clip now the clip is actually fairly easy to remove take a flathead screwdriver and if you look from this angle, you can actually see that the clip is right here, under. So just angle the screwdriver. Then, sort of the same as a prying motion, just tilt it upward to hit the clip. And then you should be able to slide it out. There we go. That's what the clip looks like. That's what the switch looks like. Alright, so one thing I want to talk about before we show installation is that if you're trying to remove it because it seems like the switches are broken, if you, in, in the case of two switches, like you have the radio control as well, if one of them is broken, that means it's the fault of that switch. Now, if both of them are broken, it could be the, both of the switches are broken, but it could also be, it could also be that the clock spring, the clock spring is broken. The clock spring is actually behind the steering wheel, so I can't show it right now. But basically, this wire that leads from the switch it, all, it ends up right here, which is, it leads to a clock spring. Now, it could either be the uh, the switch that's broken, like I said, but if the clock spring is broken, the connection leads up to the, to the clock spring and then to the car. So, if the clock spring is broken, that means that the connection is negated, and therefore, the switches won't work. Alright, so let me take out the steering wheel. This white plug right here is, that's where the connection happens. So, this one. You'll see what it looks like when I take it off. So this is the clock spring itself, and this is the connection where the switch connects to the clock spring. So let me take this out so you can get a better unblocked view. But like I said, if the clock spring is broken, that means the connection won't work. So it won't be able to reach the switch. I also have a video on removing the clock spring, so check it out if you want to, or if you found out that the switches aren't the problem. So installation is actually just the reverse of removal. So just put the clip back on. Uh, you might have to clip. You might have to click it into place once it's inside. But for now, it doesn't see. You might have to actually use the uh, flathead to keep it up while you press it in. But once you put it on, it should into place and I'm not sure you heard the click because I was talking but now once you have it like this you can just try to angle it so that it goes in so let me turn it around you might have to finagle it a bit or you might have to misangle it all right so you might have to struggle with it a bit but it eventually goes in once that happens you can just make sure it's aligned Take a, where's my screwdriver go? Uh, take a Phillips head. All right, so self-explanatory, just screw it back in. Now, I don't think the screwdriver, the screws came out because it was angled towards the back, but okay. So while you're screwing it in, make sure to push the switches forward so that they don't come out while you're trying to screw it in. And 
I think I can feel it coming in. Uh, on the other side, I'm gonna screw it in a bit so that, to make sure that both of them have enough room to get in. And so that's secure. After they're both secure, uh, you can tighten them. And I'm pretty sure that should be it. All right, so I'm Ayman, and I just showed you how to remove and replace the switches on the steering wheel of a Honda Accord 2003-2007. A uh, very fairly easy and simple job, uh, very self-explanatory as well. Uh, should only take you a few minutes to do as well. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Iman. Uh, especially if you know that the clock spring is a problem and it's not the switches, check out my video on the clock spring that I recommended. I'll link it down in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Signing out. Peace.